Hi everybody, we're looking tonight at PROG. This is a stock that fell by 4.19% on Friday. Now we've already had a look at the technical side of things a lot in the past week, but what I want to do with you guys tonight is give a few of my personal thoughts and predictions going into the next week. Now do remember, we're looking at this one from a technical side, and two, of course, this is not going to be financial advice. So be very careful, remember, this is nothing but pure speculation, so it should not be followed and it should only be taken as entertainment. But if it does sound like a good topic for a video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe because I'm sure you will enjoy it here. We talk about a plethora of different stocks, so it probably is a place where you will find at least some entertainment. Now, the third thing I want to mention is the fact that we are doing a fundraiser right now for Save the Children. If you can donate anything at all, 100% of the funds do go straight directly to Save the Children. And of course, it is what we are doing ending on the 24th of December. So the more we can raise, the better we are doing. And it will be a nice Christmas incentive for the least fortunate people in our world. But now we're going to dive in and we're going to have a look at this stock over the past day, over the past week and over the past month very, very quickly. Now, like I said, we've already done the technical side of things in detail, so we're not going to be looking at the technicals too much, but it is important to grasp what we're seeing in the past couple of days and also in the past month to basically know what's going on. Now, in the past five days specifically, we're seeing that drop continue. We found the bottom for this drop, which was down here at about 2 98 it's 289 sorry so from there we found a level we found a little bit of a rise into late friday but of course we did still finish down and we finished just below the mark of three dollars now three dollars is a level that we have been past many times in the past i mean we've not really come down below it for a while last time we came down to a level this low was probably around this point here which was uh, around the 11th or 12th of uh, this month so you will see we've been in this range up here for a couple of days now we remain as stable here but ultimately we are now falling a little bit now is it too big of a fall absolutely not and are we out of trend not really in my opinion now what do i mean by that to have a look at what i mean i think we are going to have to zoom out to the past month chart and one thing that you will see is that this has worked as a level of support in the past now when we look at the one month chart one thing is very very clear this level around three dollars yes a little bit below at times it has worked as a support in the past. We can quickly draw out the amount of times it has worked as a support. We're looking at both here. We're looking at here as well. We're looking at here too. And now we are potentially looking at this point too. So you will see, yes, we've had a few wicks that dropped just below it. Like here, we've seen a big wick below it. But really, the level of $3 has kind of worked as a support many times in the past. So we're looking to remain around this point into next week we're looking to hopefully see a bit of a break upwards and what we really want to do in a very very high uh, end scale we're trying to break above four dollars now the reason for that is because four dollars has worked as a little bit of a resistance in the recent weeks so we are seeing a bit of a push above it here we've seen a push above it here we've seen a push above it here as well but obviously these are only the wicks on the day we're not seeing any candlestick remain above four dollars so in a high end we're looking for a push above four now, with this stock, what we're looking for as well is we want to see volume come back into it. Especially in the past couple of days, we're looking at extremely low volume. Now, volume for Prog has always been relatively okay, especially when you look out to the past month. But recently, from this drop, which took us to around the $3 mark, we're seeing volume significantly drop off. So we want to see that one come back into it into the next week. Again, are we too far off where we need to be? Not really, in my opinion. You can just see the volume sticks down here. But we could really do with these being a bit higher up because when you look at these high volume days, we look at figures much better. If I quickly uh, remove the pencil, you will see how big our volume figures are over here. We look at volume figures of 70 million. We look at 73. We look at 26, 58. Whereas where we are on Friday, we're looking at only 22. So is it extremely low? It's not too bad, but we could do with it stepping up. And of course, volume and buying volume of that is a driver of price. And that is what we want to see into the next week. So we're looking for some support at this level, in my opinion, around the high 290s up to the $3 mark. We want to see consolidation above three. That would be a very nice thing. And from there, we want to see a push take us to uh, 350, then hopefully up to four. And then from four, we want to see some consolidation above it. 
So I do believe that Prog does still have that potential. Again, it is going to require volume. Volume, like I said, is a driver of price. So we do need that to come back in if we want to see it to move. So it is all going to be speculation. And again, it is all going to be de dependent, in my opinion, on volume. But I want to hear what you have to say and what you believe regarding Prog. But thank you for watching this video. See you all very soon. Goodbye. Thank you for watching through till the end. But let me tell you about our Discord. So on your screen you will be seeing the N2S Finance Discord, obviously it is split into multiple sections, basically at the top we have updates from me and all that kind of good stuff, if you scroll down a bit further we have the main sections where we focus on cryptos, specs and other hot stocks including penny stocks, even stable growth stocks as well and we even have a special AMC GME chat. If you scroll down you can see some research and DD from the community, we also have funny memes and you can see actual contributions from many members down here and again if you do join us it is a completely free link is down below but if you do want to become a patreon you will actually get a pink uh, sticker which will be displayed on your name so your name will come up in pink as mine comes up in red down here and that will show that you are a patreon but other than that guys you can join completely for free down below you do not have to pay anything if you do not want to thank you for watching see you soon